TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. Doesn't matter whether you're uh, walking on air. In Lutz, Florida or somewhere else, it... Uh, as long as you're here at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have? Well, we had a nice bounce of uh, 25 points uh, at the market open uh, in the S&Ps. We're down uh, two point and, and let's call it three points on the Dow. It's kind of uh, light. Uh, volume is good. We're doing about uh, just under 7 billion uh, shares. So volume is starting to pick up. Uh, that uh, The old saying, though, is it's a market of stocks, not a stock market. And a lot of the stuff that we've, uh, we've seen has come off the lows of the day. Some of it has, some of it hasn't. But, uh, yeah, I, I kind of wrote in my newsletter that as soon as everybody got over the uh, overhang for 9-11, the next thing they'd start worrying about is the uh, Apple show tomorrow, which starts at 1. Um, a lot of stocks uh, right around this level um, are going to see some fairly decent support. Doesn't mean that they're all going higher. Uh, but uh, option market makers have not blinked so far. Maybe they'll move uh, or change by the end of the day. Uh, they still think that 45-25 is uh, more than likely uh, by Friday, which yeah, would be a nice little pop. I didn't think that it was, I thought more that we'd go sideways um, up a little today and then sideways probably into Wednesday and then maybe start moving a little higher into Friday. But uh, who knows, uh, maybe something will ha happen. Of course, um, we've got a, a few things going on that have uh, a lot of the uh, market makers uh, or not market makers, uh, market participants worried. Um, as I said, 9-11 worries turned into Apple worries. Uh, then we had kind of the most confiscatory tax plan uh, unveiled today that's even higher than uh, currently in Chinese communism uh, home of uh, China right now. I don't think there's a whole lot of chance that uh, that's ever going to get through. Uh, weirder things have happened, uh, but uh, it would take almost an insurrection, I think, to get it done. Uh, the one uh, big guy standing in the way uh, is, is a West Virginia. I think it is. Uh, anyway, he's uh, not running uh, in the Senate again and uh, has to, uh, as a Democrat, has to run against a state that went 70 percent uh, not for uh, Joe Biden uh, doesn't have a lot of chance in there. He's going to try to run for governor and uh, needs a very moderate uh, tone if he's going to even win that. So that's uh, there's another one in there somewhere in the woods, in the wood pile. But you I mean, you really have almost a 50 50 split and you really need something compelling to get people to drive through something that could, in theory, what, drop the market by 33% by Christmas? I, w I don't think that that's beyond the scope. I was looking for uh, or hoping for a 10% uh, correction just to see how much strength there actually was in the market. Uh, but we've got a few things going on. Again, I'm not putting a high pro probability on um, some kind of max massive tax bill coming through. Uh, but we have a lot of political uh, balls in the air uh, this week. Uh, we've got uh, the recall of the uh, California uh, uh, governor, uh, who, of course, has now got more problems with uh, uh, the Me Too bunch. 
Uh, so that may be a lot closer than a lot of people have been talking about. Um, kind of interesting how that recall works. Uh, if 50.001% uh, say that they want to recall the governor, he's already lost. He can't be a governor again. Um, so they're really pulling out all the stops to uh, get that through. Um, so, you know, we could see a political change of fortunes fairly quickly. Doesn't mean it's going to happen, but it is certainly possible in the realm of possibility. Um, so we can see things change a lot. Canada uh, has its big election on the 20th. So what, seven days away from today, I think, is that. And it doesn't look very good for the far left uh, prime minister right now. Prime minister? Um, Trudeau. Uh, not a lot of people real happy with what's going on there. There's been a, some really massive corruption going through, but the government or the newspapers trying to cover that up along with the other problems that they have up there. But um, not a lot of people happy and uh, throwing taxes on this uh, market right now is probably not going to make a lot of other people happy either. So I think uh, eventually after all the noise dies down, uh, we're probably going to go back to the status quo. So we can see. Anyway, we're off five points on the S&P cash. Um, up 108 on the Dow, which is kind of interesting. Uh, the Nasdaq's off uh, 52, so we're down a little bit here. Um, you know, maybe we just keep sliding away. Maybe no, it's the uh, pullback. No one really noticed, but uh, we'll have to see. Uh, you can give me a call at 877-927-6648. Uh, you can email me at path at tfnn.com. And uh, we've got a few emails already. See if we can get that. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, okay. Um, Eddie wants me to look at uh, mRNA uh, and NVIDIA. Uh, let's see if we can pull this up real quick. We've got uh, just a little bit of time. Uh, the biotech's kind of weak today. There is a reason for that, and I will get into it, but probably on the other side of this uh, break. Uh, why is it uh, mRNA? Because oh, I typed it wrong, that's why. Okay. Modern era is down today. Uh, there is a reason why all these uh, vaccine companies are down. I'll get into it, like I said, on the other side. As far as looking, you've got a little um, hit to the uh, upside uh, trend line today in the three by three on this. Volume so far fairly light, so I don't know if you can make a lot out of it. I think when you get deeper into the issues around vaccines and the vaccine providers, um, Again, there's a lot of noise and thunder uh, and lightning, but I don't know if there's a whole lot of rain uh, on with what they're talking about. Anyway, I'll have to get used to this new music. I like the new music. But I'll have to get used to the new music. Back in. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I know better than to touch it during the show, but I did it. Anyway, um, there's something bigger going on. A lot of people are talking in the den. Um, there's something that I don't think a lot of people have actually thought of, and that is the effects of mandates on these vaccine companies. Uh, the way it works is right now all these vaccines for uh, COVID are out uh, under the uh, emergency, uh, uh, what do they call it, emergency use uh, provision in the FDA. Uh, as soon as one of these actually is truly made a FDA compliant drug uh, with full blessings, the rest of them have to can't be sold anymore, can't be used anymore. That's the way that emergency uh, uh, drugs work. As soon as you have one that's uh, there, the other one's uh, no big case for an emergency. So one of the questions is, okay, we go ahead and say that this is, we're going to have mandates. We're going to say uh, that you have to have, uh, you know, two doses of a vaccine. Well, that's a goal, good and well, but you can't really do that unless it's FDA approved. And even though they say it's FDA approved, there's a difference between a bunch of people standing up on TV saying that and a bunch of documents actually signed through and the process that goes through the FDA. Again, if that process goes through, uh, anybody else with a vaccine uh, has to go back through the non-emergency uh, plan for getting these things through. So there's a there it it, it can be six and one and half a dozen or the other uh, for people wanting uh, broader participation in the vaccine. Uh, part and that is if you force them to do it there's going to be only one vaccine until they get the rest of them all through the approval and of course uh, that approval process isn't uh, there's no short circuiting uh, that um, uh, for uh, uh, for the legal uh, definition of it and if you try there's enough people that don't like this idea of mandatory things that are going to gum it all up in court so I, a little bit of what I think the uh, IBB is seeing today 
is the office or the idea that maybe they're Mac, uh, mandatory vaccines, which means there's got to be at least one of those vaccines that actually gets the full FDA approval, which means the rest of them can't be sold or used. Maybe they're sent to other countries. Who knows? But what would be the effect on these uh, virus or not virus, these uh, vaccine style companies? And I think you're seeing a little bit of that along with the tax issues out here today. But just keep an eye on those vaccine companies. But uh, I think that there's a bit of that because uh, one person gets uh, the big uh, cheese. Uh, the rest of them will get the raspberry as soon as they get the stamp of approval. Uh, yeah, there's some stuff in there, but it's everybody. I know that there, man, I think that were four different lawsuits filed this morning. Um, so this is not a fait accompli uh, for these drug companies. We're off eight points on the S&P cash. Uh, question about Apple. We'll take a quick look at. Uh, what are my thoughts on this? Um, you know, you, you had a hard day on Friday. Not surprisingly, you're back testing that low today. Uh, tomorrow, everybody and their dog, uh, since the entire market operandi of uh, Wall Street is along Apple to some extent, my guess is that they'll all uh, get their hands together tomorrow at one o'clock and start singing Kumbaya and uh, Apple's able to turn lead into gold and uh, the iPhones are the things you have to have because they are probably the best PR machines in the world uh, at Apple and making sure that the media uh, regurgitates anything that they say. Um, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's real, sometimes it's not. Uh, but uh, Apple is very good at propaganda, um, sometimes justified, sometimes not. Anyway, I suspect by around 1 o'clock uh, the worst fears will be over. Uh, a lot of people have, will have gotten short Apple already and will probably start seeing uh, Apple uh, maybe going up a little bit or at least stop uh, going down tomorrow. And then that probably sets up a, an opportunity for a rally through the end of the week. So many stocks are fairly close uh, to uh, bounce points. We saw that on Friday. We got a little bit of that bounce today, but and not that much. Um, okay, what else out here? Um, oh, I wanted to do the history. Because it was a big history day. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1983, the Osborne Computer Corporation declares bankruptcy only two years after producing the first portable computer on the Osborne One. Computer industry lore is that the Osborne effect killed the company. The Osborne effect is that they announced uh, a computer about uh, nine months before it was going to be ready. And no one bought any of the existing units. They went bankrupt fairly quick. Um, this is kind of one of the long list of marketing examples that people give uh, along the way, along with this is not your father's Oldsmobile and other uh, things like, uh, was, it, uh, was it Gillette? Uh, toxic, uh, toxic man, what is it? Toxic? Man, uh, it was toxic, toxic something uh, that was a stupid idea and cost them a huge amount of business. Um, but uh, this is one of the big ones. If you don't have a product, announcing one isn't a big deal. If you have a product and you announce a newer, better product, you better be per, uh, uh, pretty much uh, prepared to make sure that you sell what you have before that happens. Apple kind of really different, isn't it? They dropped the price a little bit. They've worked a, a lot of the kinks out of announcing a product before it's ready. But a lot of that is keeping all the features uh, fairly uh, close to the vest. Everything kind of leaks a day or two before. It's kind of tough to get anything that and keep that sec uh, that much secret. But certainly when we uh, see tomorrow, whatever they have, there's always that one last thing that uh, uh, Steve Jobs tried to get. Um, the current CEO 
doesn't have any of that flair. Um, and of course, uh, I guess the last couple of years has been problematic because of course, uh, they've done all of this stuff virtually and, uh, there is something to uh, go into a theater and being in there watching it with other people that you don't get, uh, on the web sitting by yourself. It's kind of like going to a, a comedy club and, uh, watching it at home. There's a lot to people laughing uh, in uh, the same comedy club as you that makes it a lot more effective. Gives you the opportunity. Uh, laughter is contagious. I think uh, enthusiasm is too. And that's probably the biggest problem right now that Apple is facing is uh, pushing what they have uh, in a virtual environment. We'll be back in a Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Chart allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page. Of And we're back. Um, just one last word about the Osborne computer. Um, this one was really the first one that started off um, computerized technical trading. This is, uh, in fact, uh, I spoke to uh, Joe DiNapoli. And a lot of his really early stuff was all the stuff he wrote on an Osborne computer. Of course, uh, they went out of business. Uh, KPRO took over 
for that business. But the uh, the portable or luggable, as it was called, where you detached uh, the front part, and that was the keyboard. Um, it was quite the uh, thing until the IBM PC that really uh, took out that whole section by 1986 uh, was pretty much done. But uh, Osborne Computer, a big uh, headstone uh, in the rearview mirror. Uh, got a couple more questions out here. Uh, okay, did we get the rest of it? Uh, NVIDIA. NVDA. Um, you know, you got a little bit of dark cloud cover out here, but not a lot of volume. Uh, it's kind of what I'm seeing so far. We'll see how the close comes in, but we have a lot of volume in the indexes, which I suspect is a lot of people getting short. Uh, what we don't have uh, is a lot of uh, volume in the individual equities. There are some, but uh, the great deal of them like this kind of going along with what they do. Maybe the volume will come in later. You really don't like that this uh, has come back uh, below the three by three displaced moving average. Um, and you got a big candle, you just don't have all the volume out here. I think there are better stocks to be short than Nvidia. Um, support probably comes in around two, what is that gonna be about 218, 220? Uh, what's the low of that? A 26, uh, uh, 218. You probably got a couple more bucks lower out here for support to come in. I'm looking at this big candle with the last bunch of volume back on the 23rd of uh, August. That should start to see some support starting right here. Uh, but again, like I said, there's a lot of these stocks that I think are just waiting for uh, Apple uh, and that worried to be off its shoulders. So we may have weakness in the market till then. And then I'm looking for Wednesday through uh, Friday to be uh, kind of bounce days out here. So I haven't bought anything really today uh, looking for a bottom, but I think that's coming tomorrow. Uh, and what else do we have? Okay. Um, do, do, do you think the work day will feel a bit better? Okay. Work day. Take a quick look at. Okay, you think we're going to fill the gap uh, 826? I think he means the one on 827. Uh, 2826, which is uh, the 26th close. 246. You've got two real big uh, double gaps out here. So this one's fairly good. I would say your first level out here is a test of 262. Now you could get a bounce on that. Uh, the next level would probably be exceedingly uh, the place I'd probably hope for, and that's 252-ish. Uh, and that's that second gap. Let's see where that goes back. Both these gaps go back to a uh, move lower. Let's clean this up a little bit here. Uh, your first gap down goes back to, that would probably be support, goes back to April 29th. And then the next one is the day after that on 430. So that's April 30th. Both of those areas right there are where you want to look at taking a stand if you're thinking about going long this. Um, and of course, like I said, you're not that far away. Uh, for maybe filling that or testing that 260 range, 262-ish. Uh, I think that that would be kind of a high probability. You got halfway into that today with not a lot of volume. So it may take a lot of effort to get back there. Uh, today could be the low also in workday. But, uh, you know, if I was going long, I'd wait for 260. If I was short, I'd wait till the close today and see if it gets back in this open gap you know, if you get uh, another couple of bucks lower on workday, and I say more likely the probability is you get a quick test of 260, at least for this week. And then maybe you, you uh, do some consolidation. And if it's not strong enough, then it goes back down to that uh, 253 to 255 area. So we like that in workday. Um, but, you know, this is the time of year when there's a lot of of uh, uh, 
turnover, and that is uh, people getting off stocks uh, that they think have kind of quit going up, uh, looking for a faster horse. That generally goes through the 1st of October. There's a lot of that going on on Wall Street every year about this time. They get all set up uh, for hopefully cashing in on big Christmas bonuses. Um, probably not too happy about the tax talk and the huge capital gains rates uh, on the stock market. Um, you always have to worry about the unintended consequences. And, of course, we bring up uh, 2000, the high at 2000 uh, in the broad markets, the dot-com bust and everything. But uh, there were more than a few reasons. One of them, of course, was the huge change in how much taxes you'd pay on January 1st, opposed to January 30, or excuse me, December 31st of 1999. Uh, you dropped, what, 10, 15 percent or something on the capital gains? It was huge. And that meant everybody was holding on until they could sell January. I think we came back on January 30th. And all I remember is it was an uh, all-out war to sell Qualcomm uh, and try to keep as much money as you could. It went from, I think, uh, back then split adjust or actual dollar amount. I remember, I think, 196, 195 when I was trying to short it. And it didn't stop till it got to like 132 about three or four days later. Uh, but that was you know, there's a, always the unintended consequences for uh, markets. But, uh, again, I'm thinking that everybody's getting kind of bearish right now, which makes me want to generally take the opposite side of the market. But uh, we'll see. We're down uh, 12 points on the S&P cash, still up 94 on the Dow, NASDAQ, soft 65. Give me a call, 877-927-6648. Email me at path at tfnn.com. And let's see what we have here. Uh, Friday. That, okay, got another one here. Let me go through a couple of these and see if there's anything here. Okay. Question about Microsoft's uh, big uh, dog and pony, which is next Tuesday, so eight days away. Um, kind of pulling back certainly looks pretty nice. You've got um, a 40 million share high. So there's about a 75% chance uh, before much else happens that you're going to go back and test that 305.84 from August 20th. So this is actually a fairly nice pullback here. Uh, if you wanted to short this thing, I'd still wait for it to go retest 305.84. And even then, there's probably better stocks stored out there. But my guess is if market really is headed lower, we're probably going to get a bounce. You're probably going to see that in these big uh, tech stocks, and then it will roll over. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. As we return, uh, still kind of just seeing, um, oh, down 10 points on the S&P cash. Again, a lot of that volume was earlier in the day. It's kind of dried up over the last two hours. The real answer is going to be the last 30 minutes of the day to see what the big guys do. The old saying is that the rubes open, uh, rubes belong, what is it? The rubes uh, control the open and the pros uh, control the uh, close. Uh, but, you know, 7.3, we're going to have some decent volume on a, on a decent reversal-looking day. It's not going to make a good candle unless we go back higher. Um, but uh, we'll see. Uh, to, to do what else out here do we have? Um, uh, question on AMD. What's going on out here? You're looking like you're probably having a fairly decent test. Uh, I thought maybe the uh, low in AMD would come today with what was going on. But we're going into a 71 million share low on August 19th uh, with uh, so far a little less than 30 million shares today. Um, there was a question last week about whether you have to actually test uh, lows uh, by going through them. Um, and... On lows where you have less than 50% in a actual uh, equity, I'm not talking about an ETF. But if you have something like this, let's say we end up with 35 million shares on AMD, the answer is no. I don't believe that you actually have to go down and pierce it. If you've come within a half a percent of the low and the volume shrunk by 50%, um, now when I started, if you if this you did this and the volume shrank by 15 percent, it was a big deal. With uh, so much uh, high frequency trading going on, it's still different. But man, if you can get 50 percent or, or uh, less uh, volume on one, you actually have uh, some fairly nice opportunities out here to play some bounces. Now, again, like I said, I think maybe you have a little bit more of this tomorrow morning. We kind of get over the hump. Maybe tomorrow afternoon with Apple. And then maybe everybody starts turning that frown upside down into Friday. But uh, as I said, I looked at the options before the show, and option market makers still think uh, that we have uh, possible 75 points higher on the uh, S&P by Friday's close. Um, not really to close them, BC. The candle says big bounce was in. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, yes, we probably should bring that up, John. Uh, close now, I think he puts for the morning on Dave's new bullish views. Not really. He closed them because the candle says big bounce possible. Um, all the uh, sector oscillators I have are all down in the range where you, it, it's kind of interesting because generally you get the biggest amount of losses right before the market turns. Uh, you also get the most amount of people shorting. 
at Lowe's. And so what I'm kind of looking for tonight is a handful of people really, really shorting. In fact, I talked to, to somebody about one Friday uh, about the only thing I didn't really like was that there wasn't um, some heavy shorting going on. But I thought maybe by the end of this week, uh, I was looking uh, at uh, at a stock that should uh, that's come down massively, uh, but that could have a really nice pop in it. And uh, I'll continue to watch that. But uh, that's it. Anyway, a um, lot of bios lower. Uh, we talked about a couple of reasons, both taxes, uh, probably also um, the effect of maybe three or four really big uh, vaccine stocks heading lower if there is actual uh, a actual mandate uh, pushing the Pfizer one. Um, let's see what else out here. Okay. Check our email. Okay. So we looked at AMD, looked at NVIDIA, but yeah, AMD, pretty sweet looking chart here, especially on volume. We'll watch. Um, I'm always a fan of it, uh, doing the Wyckoff thing, which is proving the point that is going below a low, doing it on a lighter volume and coming back out. Generally, you just don't get it, though, when the volume's this light. You generally get a little bit of bounce. So we may have the low in AMD uh, today, but it, not, it may not be worth buying until tomorrow or even Wednesday. Uh, but I would be looking at uh, something like uh, looking at, you know, the 105. So hopefully it, uh, what are we at now, uh, 103. It, it'd be nice if this thing would just play around 102, 103, and then maybe pick up the uh, 105s for Fridays for calls. But that's kind of the way I'm thinking right now. Okay, question about Netflix and FLX. Um, yes, you have a, uh, a decent break here, which is what you're looking for. But again, as I've said a lot of times, um, these tend to be a little bit hit and miss on Netflix uh, or any of these stocks. But when you've been above the three by three for so long and have a big trend, you generally come down like you did today. Then you're probably going to go a handful of days and then you're going to go back above it for a couple of days. And then if I'm thinking the market's going to fail, it'll probably be next week. Um, like I said, I think we can get one more big, nice push the fed throw a lot of money at the market come thursday we have a nice prop into friday and then everybody gives it up and then that next uh, uh joe DiNapoli double repo pattern comes in uh we've got a nice one here on netflix that is a uh, you get 10 15 or more days above uh three by three displaced moving average a couple days below it and then the next day above it uh sets the, the clock, and that is if you get the next couple of days, you get a, a pullback down underneath that three by three. That's generally when you have the bottom fall out of the market, not right uh, the setup we have. This is all set up as the prelude. Now, maybe we get some kind of surprise that I'm unaware of, uh, but I looked at all the news today. I didn't see a lot in here other than people uh, crying in their milk worrying about 9-11 now, they're worried about Apple now, they're worried about taxes. But you know what happens kind of uh, in September every year. Um, okay. And what else? Okay, we'll go to the next question. If I can find it here, because we've got a lot. Keep those uh, cards and letters coming here. Um, always a good day to give me a call. Uh, we just got a couple of seconds here left to go. Um, question about coin. I really don't look at this that much. Uh, again, I think you have uh, probably a better chance at coin bottoming at three, uh, excuse me, 230, uh, where this gap goes back and is yet to be filled. You bounced off it a couple of times, but you got the same volume already that you had on August 19th. So just looking at it, um, energy a little bit more off this 280, 61 high on September 3rd also. So I'm going to say 230th, 28 is where you want to watch for this. If you want to do long, we'll be back in a minute.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Hey, we're getting ready to wrap up the show for yet another day. Uh, as we're down seven and a half. Uh, as I said, volume's kind of died off here. Uh, probably all about what Apple says tomorrow as they move the market a great deal. But uh, option market makers um, still haven't blinked. I'll have uh, an update tomorrow at 2 uh, to see if the, anything changes. But they're all expecting the market uh, to kind of come back. They're looking at uh, 45, 25 or so by Friday, which isn't a big deal. And, of course, we always get the Fed uh, cash coming in on Thursday sometimes day, sometimes night. So it, one of these things where you probably are looking for this market to uh, turn later this week, and you're also waiting for the whites of their eyes to buy those calls if you're going to do a little white lightning. But uh, and just looking at uh, what we have here today, for the most part, uh, the stuff I have is okay. Uh, the biotech uh, space uh, hurting a little bit, but, uh, you know, yeah, these things kind of come and go. It's more about the, the close now, so we'll see what happens in the next hour, hour and five minutes, actually. Uh, see if we can get a lot of volume. I really think that you probably need something like 12 billion shares to set the hook uh, for lower prices. I think we're probably somewhere around maybe 10.5 billion, maybe 11 billion. So still not enough juice to really say that uh, people are uh, throwing the baby out with the bathwater. 
uh, everything kind of overpriced. Yeah, but it's been overpriced for a long time. Um, I think we're really going to have to see the Fed change that um, to make sure that cash isn't coming in anymore. Um, you know, you expect to see maybe a, a lot more weakness in something like the TLT. It's up a, almost a buck today, up 96 cents. Don't have that much going on. Like I said, I think we're just waiting, setting up. But if we're going to have some real destruction, I think it's going to be after a bounce like this week and into next week, maybe we set or retest some highs and then the market starts rolling up. We'll be uh, back uh, tomorrow, same bat channel, same bat time. Remember to sell when you can, not when you have to. Building wealth, trading and